Hey guys, Mike from MKO Studio. Today we're gonna do some top coating uh, with epoxy of some art Keena has done and I did. I have these tape dams on because we've been having a lot of issues with dry edges. When I do my epoxy countertops, I use tape dams so that I can let it sit there for a while and let it start to set up and then pull off my tape dance and watch it slowly roll over instead of run off. Okay, so I made my epoxy probably about 20, 25 minutes ago. It's got a work time of 45 minutes. I'm going to wait till that 45 minute time frame is up and then I'm gonna give it another 45 minutes. So I'll be coming back an hour and a half from when I made my epoxy to pull off this tape and watch it slowly run over. This right here is MDF. This is a beautiful piece Keena did. It was an egg carton pour and then a swipe and tilt. Put that definite. This here is my dragon piece. Awesome. And I've got uh, five ounces of epoxy on here. I have underneath this board, uh, underneath this canvas, this was done on canvas. Uh, how, I mean, you can see how I'm hitting something under here. I have a, my hypnotic under here, and it's giving it so this doesn't belly. So I'm hoping that it'll help. I can only wait to see what this guy's going to be like epoxied. I think he's just going to jump out of the board. All right, get back to that. And then this one here called for five ounces of epoxy also. Oh, this, look at that. Yeah, this is a metallic Dutch pour that I did. the 24 carat. And I'm making sure that I get it all the way up to my tape. This is self-leveling. All right. Was getting a level board is damn near impossible. Not due to lack of effort. All right. And this one I know is going to pop like crazy with all those metallics. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's like you have to epoxy this. And that's what it comes down to with the paintings and stuff. Certain ones, they're, you know, they're good just doing a polyacrylic, but... When you get metallics and stuff, I mean, the amount of pop you get from epoxy is unbelievable. I can see this piece hanging up in a, trying to buffet type of thing or something like that. that would be cool. Yeah. Definitely, to me, I mean, the first thing I saw out of it I know you were disappointed at first, but the first thing I saw out of it, it looks almost like a Chinese dragon, you know, for New Year's type of thing. <laughs> yeah, it ended up being better than I thought it was going to be. Now, these had silicone on them, this and this one, 
And what I used, and I'm hoping it's gonna hold, I have this stuff, um, it's a prep saw for my auto body business, and it's used, you use it before you do your painting to get any grease or wax or silicone buildup off of it. So I took a rag and I poured it on and I wiped it down really good, and it seemed to got it off. Uh, I am seeing some dry spots trying to pop up here, so I'm gonna have to babysit those. Um, worst case scenario, if I have too many spots where the silicone is at, that I didn't get off, and it, it, what will happen is the silicone won't allow this to lay flat. I'll have craters. So I'll have to come back afterwards, do another coat on it. Like I said, I'm going with the tape dams to see if I can get away with one coat. Time to use the heat gun. Now I know people ask, Kino, why do you use that torch all the time on your paint? Well, let's get rid of air bubbles. Well, instead of using a torch, I'm using a heat gun on my epoxy for the same exact purpose, to get rid of air bubbles. When you mix it up, you're gonna get air bubbles. So you want them gone. Hey Siri, start a 30 minute timer. We use Siri on our phone for timing purposes. When your hands are tied up. Yeah, you don't want to touch your phone with epoxy. Usually she listens well. Sometimes Once a blue moon, she jumps well. in. Yeah. <laughs> now you can see right here, it's getting dry. See that dry spot there? Yeah. I don't want that. And I think there could be some silicone there. So what I'm going to try to do is build it up with some more epoxy. Takes all the scrapings. Try to build it up. But it's it's pulling away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Now, that alarm going off was my work time end. fight it the whole way you can see the tape's already starting to let go here this painter's tape doesn't really hold well but if you put too aggressive a tape on then you peel it off and it can pull your paint away and we don't want that either so there's got to be a happy compromise I don't see any dry spots here. i'm just going to keep loading this area up i'm going to take every little bit of leftover epoxy just load it up over here. All right, so I see a dry spot here. I still have some epoxy left in cups. This guy's still being finicky over here, but he's not as bad. And I'm gonna take off my tape dams. Go ahead and rub my edges. Still not digging this over here. I'm gonna come back with some extra epoxy and touch up these dry spots. Oh, here it is. Huge dry spot. And now I'm gonna just give my edges a little prime.
big chunky monkey, you don't need you. this dry edge problem not a big fan of it so I'm gonna lay a bead of epoxy on here I tried using my hand but this is canvas it's not MDF so it doesn't really work as well rubbing your hand on it because I rubbed it over here and I really jacked it up Now I'm well past my work time, so this stuff is already starting to set up, but it runs for hours.